everyone, it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my April update for musical panning. This was a project that was created by Mari, who's Patriot Makeup. It started, I think, on the 3rd of January <laughs> of 2023 and go, uh, 2022 and goes through the 2nd of January of 2023. If I am wrong, someone please correct me in the comments down below. She has started in the 1940s and gone all the way to the 2020s and picked three songs that represent each decade. And of course, each song has a prompt. I Everybody's kind of doing this their own way. I started in the 2020s and I am working my way backwards. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five items to update you on. And then we're going to roll in one, two, three, four, five. We're going to roll in five more products. So let's start with two that have been in here the longest for um, Get a Kick Out of You with Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, an item you love. I brought in this, <laughs> this, which kind of looks like this. This is the EOS Shea Better Hand Cream. The, I absolutely love these. They're just so good. I have mine in a little toothpaste squeezer. I don't know where it was last year. I haven't even been really weighing it. But number one, I love this scent. This is lavender. Oh, so good. But number two, this hand cream is just so nourishing. I love it so much. I have it everywhere in my house. It's just so, so good. So my goal is to finish that. I say it'll probably be done by the end of April, maybe 1st of May. We'll just have to see. I thought the next product would be done that quickly and I was wrong. <laughs> so the next song is Pac-Man. The grill is an item you can't get enough of. And I brought in this. This is the Love Beauty and Planet Shea Velvet Body Lotion. I hate everything in their hairline, but I have been in love with their body lotions. So this is the Shea Butter and Sandalwood scent. So this is very much a more kind of fall winter scent and I had kind of put it aside. Um, you can see where my last mark was in here. I didn't, I don't think I used this at all in February, um, but I've been trying to get it done in March, just taking forever. I honestly think I might be down here instead of here, but it's on the side, so it's really hard to tell. My goal is to finish this. Hopefully by the end of April, this will be done so I can start smelling fruitier and not so heavy. Mm. Again, the formula is beautiful. It's so nourishing, it sinks in. I really, really enjoy the formula, but I'm over this scent. And if, I'm, if it's not finished by the end of April, this will go away and we'll bring it back in the fall. Maybe I'll just do that now. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put this away for now. And then probably September, October, I will bring it back out and finish it for the rest of the year. That's, that is what we're gonna do. We are gonna color this one. Let's just do like orange, yellow. Okay, so yeah, okay, yes. Putting this aside, I will pick it back up in the fall. Why didn't I think about doing that last month? I have no idea. Brain. You're gonna see me checking my teeth a lot because I put a gloss on top of this lipstick and holy crap. Uh, next, we have Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton, and that's something that feels smooth or makes your skin look smooth. And I had brought in this. So this is my only empty, yeah, my only empty. This is the Evergreen, Pink Evergreen Whipped Body Soap Scrub. Whipped Soap Scrub. I can never say it correctly. You would think I would by now. Anyway, this is such a lovely formula. I didn't care for this scent. This was very much like powdery evergreen and why I picked something that had an o a note of evergreen I will never know because I hate that scent like balsam and fir and pine Ugh, no so anyway it's done I really did enjoy it I have 16 more I think so yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay excuse me um then we have um genius yeah by LSD Saya blah 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 <laughs> and I don't you think is genius <laughs> blah 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 did you guys like that I brought in this this is the bio oil skincare oil and um, I have been I've started using this on my scar and um, I had back surgery October 2019 how's it gonna be three years this year um like in June of 2019, I went to step in my pool and I was like, whoa, something happened. And the very next day I couldn't walk. <laughs> so somehow I had herniated like a disc. What's it called? Herniated? 
anyway, something happened and I had to have a laminectomy. Okay. So, but my scar didn't, it didn't heal. It took like almost a year for it to heal. So she's like no oil on it for at least a year. So I finally started it. I really love this. I actually have a gel of this too. Mm, this smells delicious. Not delicious, but I don't know. It's not a hardship to use. I can say that. So it was all the way to the top when I started. And hopefully you can, why I picked a red line to go on a pink. I'll never know, but we are start, we're right there. My goal is to finish this. It'll probably take all damn year, but... It's a year-long project. Very kind of sassy. <laughs> she put her lashes on and did her hair and got a little sassy. Um, and that's because of this. Heavens, 21 Pilots, an item that makes you feel dangerous. I don't know if it makes me feel dangerous, but I do like a pop of color. Oh, by the way, this is April the 2nd? Yeah, so this is actually um, the third eye look I will be posting. I started um, taking pictures a day ahead of time. That way I would would be on the ball. So I like it. I can't get this to blend in, but what are you going to do? Anyway, <laughs> this is the Dose of Colors. <laughs> dose of Colors um, lip stick. I don't know. I don't know the color. There's no sticker on it. My goal is to um, use this 10 times. I believe this is my third time. It may possibly be my fourth time. For some reason, I'm not tracking. I don't know what what happened but I can tell by the pictures how many times I wore it so I'll throw up the number I want to say it's three but it's possibly four but yeah so I'll either have seven or six more uses of this I wish I liked this formula better I wish I liked the applicator of this better it just pulls out so much and even like wiping most of it down it was still too much this is also getting kind of chunky so after I get my uses out of it this may end up being a declutter so yeah Got six or seven more uses on that. Okay, now we are moving into the 2000s and we're starting with a nobody don't pass me. I'm just so fresh and clean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, fresh and so clean, clean. I'm like Ruth, I cannot not sing it. Like I just can't not sing it. I mean, you guys, I sing all the time. Like give me a word, I'm gonna sing it. Anywho, um, Danny will tell you that because she'll say something and then I'll immediately burst into song. But anyway, <laughs> okay, we're cutting all that out, Misty. Sorry, ma'am. I'm going to leave all of that in. This is a song by Outkast and it's an item that makes you feel put together. And I'm bringing in this. This is the Wet n Wild Brow Mascara. Until I put brows on my face, I feel like I look tired or sick my age all of it like I just when I'm when my brows are done I don't even have to have on my rest of my face but when my brows are done I feel like I'm put together and I'm ready to face the world so my goal is going to be to finish this I will weigh it and we will track it that way and, and we'll just see what happens so the goal is for to finish that um, I already did Be Yourself. That was a Kalini makeup remover, and I finished that. Actually, I think I finished all of the ones that were in my collection. So, go me. Um, crazy, crazy by Normal Sparkly, an item that drives you crazy. Um, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealers drive me crazy, and I have been using this one. I took this stopper out today. It's kind of messy. It's a little messy. But you can, hopefully you can, maybe you won't be able to see. There is not a whole, whole bunch left in there. Um, I have been using this with my foundation. And that's why my base looks like bullshit. But this will be done. <laughs> oh, no twinkie. This will be done. This will be done by the next update. Because I just, I just cannot. I, I, ugh. I don't know that I've ever had such a visceral reaction to a, well, I didn't love the Jouer one. But when I used that as a foundation, I was able to make it work so much and so that I thought about buying one just to use with the foundation, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, this one is just, I wish I loved it. I have the the regular one. I'm going to have to see if I'm going to declutter or put in a project. But yeah, not, not, not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. Um, then moving into the 1990s. Oh my gosh. I was watching... Uh, Songs that are 25 years old compilation, which would put them in the mid 90s or even the late 90s, and no diggity. <laughs> no 
no diggity. And I think the next episode. For that, it's an item you'll miss when it's gone. And I'm going to bring in another Bath Bevy um, whipped soap scrub. You guys, these are, these are addictive. They're just that good. Mm. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is basically a scrub and a soap hybrid. And they are just so good. This one is strawberry, peach, raspberry, and cotton candy. I couldn't figure out what the smell was, but it smells like, you guys, did you guys have a strawberry shortcake doll? The little baby where you squeezed her belly and she blew strawberry kisses. This is, this is close to that, but not so kind of like sickly sweet. Mmm, love it. I love it. So my goal will be to finish this and this will be an empty for the next update. No problem. Something in the Way by Nirvana. Nirvana, an item that's a burden. This is not my favorite Nirvana song. I think my favorite Nirvana song is Lake of Fire. Good thing I'm not monetized. This song, this, I'm going to get all sorts of copyright strikes on this. Okay, so Something in the Way, Nirvana, an item that's a burden. And this took me a little bit to think about. Then I thought about this. This is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. This is the original one that came out. All those years ago and this has a hundred percent been a burden it's too dry for my face and for a while I was using it to cut my um, eyel uh, not eyelash, my eyebrows I'm gonna mark this with a paint pen and I just I stopped doing that like I don't really carve out my brows anymore at least not with a concealer and so I was like I need to finish it and then Andrea was talking about how she had put some oil on a beauty blender to work with a foundation that was too dry on her face and I thought you know what that's a pretty smart idea so my goal is going to be to finish this finish them and then last but not least is Friday I'm in love by the cure an item you have a love-hate relationship with I am bringing in a ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Crybaby. I'm not gonna roll this all the way up. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I love the longevity of these liners I, in the waterline. I love the vibrancy of these cream gel liners, but they are awful. They're awful. They don't last. Like the, There's something with the formula that causes them to shrink and then they just fall out of the packaging. Like one time I was doing my eye like this and I went to do the other eye and the whole damn pencil fell and broke on the floor. So I love the vibrancy of them. I love how they stay in my waterline, but they're just not worth the money. The same thing with Super Shocks. I am done buying Super Shocks, probably famous last words, but I'm kind of done buying Super Shocks because they just dry out so quickly. So yeah, anyway, this is a, this is definitely a product that I have a love-hate relationship with. So yeah, this has been all over the place. I'm gonna have to cut out seven of the 10 songs I sing. <laughs> That's only a little exaggeration. Uh, okay, what are we gonna do? Should I bring in one more? Since I am rolling out that lotion for now, I want to go ahead and add one more prompt. So we're gonna head into the 1980s, and that is Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan, a product you're proud of. And you guys have heard me go on and on and on <laughs> about this Lit Lit Palace palette from um, BH Cosmetics. This is currently in my Zodiac um, Painter project. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a shade to hit pan on in here. And I believe this is, um, I think it says bling bling. I don't have my, I don't have my glasses on. This one right here. Grab your swatch. This is gorgeous. Oh my God. That's just so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a peachy kind of bronzy gold color. So my goal is going to be hit pan on that shade. And so that will give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 products that I'm working on in this project. And um, yeah, I don't mind. So for the next update, I should have, this should be done. This may be done. This will be done, if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> this may be done. 
And actually, this may be done too because this is purple and I'm working on my 30 days of purple, so we'll see. But oh, and I will have met my usage on this. So, a lot of thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Um, we'll see how much singing I leave in. <laughs> I can't help myself. I can't help it. I can't just, I just can't help myself. I like to sing, I can't help it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to go check out Mari. Um, again, I will have all of the information in the description box down below per usual. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll consider subscribing. Have a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your eyes. And I will see you in my next video, which is probably tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now. Remember how I said I was going to keep checking, checking the, to make sure my teeth. I don't know how long it's been on there, so... We just gonna go with it. All right? All right. Love you.